This is the entrance to the underworld. It's become a real mess. Why has so much hatred built up here? It seems that there is a good reason for you to come here. Thank you, Nidhogg. Do not die here. Fishing you out of this trash heap won't be easy. I can carry you away from here if you want to leave. Quite a few new tricks. Tricks won't save you now, corruption. Such power, your child. Your arrogance won't save your family. Damn you! <laughs> I've 
personally handed over the souls of your family to pain, Chaos. You should thank me. I went to a lot of effort to make sure that their souls weren't consumed by all the hatred here. Pain? What are you trying to do? Oh, there are some things that only he can do. I just need to make sure that I have the chips to bargain with. He who bear me chaos he is rather annoyed about being woken up after centuries of sleep in hell. Hopefully. He hasn't crushed the souls of your family before you get here. <laughs> you are all as despicable as ever. <coughs> Only I said the greatest danger always comes from hidden malice. Heimdall. Can you tell me about those things you didn't want to say now? Your words make Heimdall hesitate for a moment before she flies to your side. Chaos. Nidhogg was telling the truth. The blood of Odin, the king of the gods, flows in your veins, and that is what woke me. After the Battle of Asgard, Odin sensed the coming of a new doom, so he divided up his power before going to rest. That is the power of the Soul Catcher inside you. It is also why I reawakened. The King of the Gods is waiting to be reawakened according to prophecy, but something has gone wrong. Because of Loki? It's not just Loki. That's right. It's not just him. When Odin went to sleep, the other gods around him began having their own ideas. What about you then? What do you want, Heimdall? Me? The question seems to surprise Heimdall and gives her pause. She then reaches out and touches your cheek. All I want is to be with you. So, can you listen to me and stay by my side always? Don't worry, Heimdall. So it has been, and so it always will be. To learn more about Hell, your group comes to the tavern. It's noisy, as usual. Hey, tavern keeper, I want to know more about Hell. Oh, that's not something you can explain away. Let's have three mugs of Kayo first so we can sit down and chat. <laughs> hell? That's not a place for adventure. What do you want to know? Why is the gateway to the underworld in hell? And what's with all that hatred? Well, it's an old story. And a sad one at that. Do you know about the ruins in hell? Years ago, the land belonged to Count Jarl. The ruins were once the city of Wolren that he ruled over. Wolren? Isn't that the legendary cursed city? That's right. Its name is now Taboo. But do you know where that name came from? Not sure. The records are unclear on the matter. Of course they are. What happened there was Divine Retribution. Divine Retribution? Yeah, Divine Retribution. Count Jarl, the ruler, angered the gods of Asgard, so they destroyed the city of Ulren. What happened? The tavern keeper's expression darkens. After a long pause, he finally speaks again. He climbed the Tower of Heaven and touched Asgard. A human climbed the Tower of Heaven and touched Asgard? How is that possible? Those that reach Asgard will receive salvation and eternal life. That is the contract made by the gods themselves. But why? Not many people know this. But Jarl did gain eternal life. But it wasn't just him. The whole city did too. What's going on? As the reward for touching Asgard, the entire city was buried into the ground and connected directly to the entrance of the underworld and the lower plane. The people living there 
were transformed into monsters doomed to suffer for all eternity under the ground. That's why those ruins are connected to the entrance to the Underworld. I hear that the King of the Underworld even went to Asgard to complain. After all, nobody likes a big rock blocking their front door. The two gods couldn't settle their argument, so the entrance to the Underworld was sealed. All the dead that hadn't been tainted by the Fallen wander aimlessly around the entrance to the Underworld until they become monsters or are consumed by monsters. This is what you wanted to know about Hell? What do you think now? These so-called gods? How pathetic! So the hatred in Hell is... Though centuries have now passed, the anger and resentment of Wolverine's people still remains. By the way, why did Jarl of Wolverin decide to climb the Tower of Heaven? To save his wife? For eternal life? Who knows? It's just a minor detail nobody has bothered to remember. Very well. That's enough. We should go. Oh yes, if you're interested. Chaos. You can go and check out the ruins of the Tower of Heaven. They say the place has been ransacked by goblins. Is there nothing those money grubbers won't do? I will. What brings you here, Master Chaos? Rodin? It's you? It's been a while. <laughs> my name's Inzo, Master Chaos. Rodin is my brother. Uh, we do look alike. If you look closely, you'll see that I have an extra mole on my butt. I don't tell just anyone this. Um, okay, Enzo. So you're in charge of the dig at the Tower of Heaven Ruins? Yes, ever since you... <clears throat> well, uh, since neither the Church or the Kingdom are interested in this area, it was leased by our guild. Did you find anything? Many powerful monsters survive here. No wonder this was once the testing ground for those traveling to Asgard. Is that so? Hmm? Never mind. Maybe one day I'll go and see it. You are always welcome. It is very dangerous in there, but there are also many gems and soul shards. The heroes that once tried to climb the tower must have left them behind. Make sure you're prepared.
on his own body. Oh, how grotesque. Aren't you bored hiding here and conducting your forbidden experiment? <laughs> I will be released from here soon. Sacrifice your bodies to me.
just a little more. Give your bodies now. I can then leave this damned place. Leave? <laughs> there is no place for a madman like you. No one can stop my revenge. I crave vengeance. Vengeance! The face of the death priest in front of you is twisted with hate. His desire for revenge gnaws away at his mind and fans his insanity. Who caused him to become so obsessed with seeking revenge? As if he heard Esther's question, the death priest turns his bloodshot eyes towards her. Bragi the traitor. He betrayed me. He forgot our promises. He had me expelled from the Curia. Ah, looks like he used the betrayal to climb to an even higher position. Ah. The mention of Bragi fills the death priest's ashen features with hate. He is not like that. Don't you understand? I was the one who suggested the forbidden experiments to him. What? <laughs> An unforgivable crime, isn't it? But we had no choice. Too many had already fallen in battle against the Defilers. Under those circumstances, we had to try everything. <laughs> <laughs> that stick in the mud refused. He even put on an act to fob me off. Just as I was about to try it myself, that bastard had me expelled from the Curia. He betrayed me. We were the best of friends. I. I. trusted him. Absolutely. Bragi is dead. The death priest falls silent. He cannot believe it. And just maybe, does not want to believe. <laughs> I killed him because of the forbidden experiments. How can that be? He would never do such a thing. Maybe he just didn't want you to share the guilt. After all, you were friends. You gave him the key to hell. He decided to leave you behind and go there by himself. Impossible. That is impossible. The death priest's voice falls to a whisper. The fires of hatred disappear from his eyes and his face turns gray. For an instant, the soul of the Cardinal seems to materialize behind you. Is that you, Bragi? Is that your choice in the end? We could have worn it together.
sword will strike fear into the dead. Even my sword has rusted. You won't find any wet stones in the mud. Ugh. Stay here long enough and it's not just the body that's eaten away. Hatred here has thickened. You can almost hear the screams of the dead all around you. You've seen this creature before? Monster things from more concentrated putrid. Take care, kids. The noose!
Has the hatred here become concentrated enough to produce monsters such as this? A monster formed from boundless hatred and the undead creatures that haunt this place? What a ma- monster with crimson eyes breathes heavily, fear and exhaustion evident in its eyes. The poor thing. It must be insane from all the torment here. Ugh. Esther suddenly groans in pain. Oh. Is it too much for you, Esther? What is it, Esther? Ugh. It's nothing. I, just feeling a little dizzy, that's all. Don't overdo it. I can- That's what I'm worried about, Heimdall.
some fresh fertilizer. I can grow even taller now. Ho ho ho! Let's grow taller and hang the branch with new decoration. Hey! Don't you think those heads are a bit swine, you? seems to have found release. A destiny you can't choose is like being a puppet. It holds absolutely no value whatsoever. I am beginning to envy you, Heimdall. Thank <laughs> you. 